Picked up 2.30 that time. Kind of a flip-flop this morning. We went way out to the west and it was a huge swell, five foot standing waves breaking on the beach. So after much deliberation, we bounced out of there. And we're still on the west side. Um, so we're gonna give it a chance. Launched about five minutes before sunrise. I'm blasting out through 40 feet right now. So it's the full moon today. I wouldn't even normally fish these days, but I wanted to get out. I was actually gonna go to a different spot on the windward side where the swell would probably have been better, but this is all right. We're gonna give it a shot. And, you know, with some luck, maybe, maybe we can target some pelagics. Found this floating palm frond. It's new. There's no barnacles or anything on it. So I tried to jig some bait off. No luck. That was in 140. Nice piece of debris to find, even if it didn't have any. It wasn't old. The older debris with barnacles and stuff holds the fish. So we'll keep moving. Kind of bounce 150 to 200. Just marked a big thing of bait. Oh yeah, still there. Oh, got him. One down. Hey Dan, did you find bait? I just came over a ball in 200. Okay. Did you see any other balls before you got out there? No, nothing. Uh, and it was out here down 110 to 1, like 70 and 200. Okay, thanks. A lot of big marks right there, but still trying to find the bait ball again. Maybe since the, the marks are higher, the bait's moved up. Shane right here, there's plenty. Oh, marking. 100 feet. Oh, Billy, we're catching bait over here if you aren't already. Okay, bait number one. Marking more bait out. Billy, I've on the outside. 100 on to the 150. Right Something's got him. Got 
think. Up 240. <laughs> Coming over the bait again. I don't know if this thing knows it's hooked. Nice, rainbow runner. Oh, massive pile and a big old color spot. Just came with the bait ball again. 240. We got two baits out now. One on 40, one on 80 pound test, both with 3 0 hooks. Just trying to keep the lines from getting tangled, hopefully. Turn it to jerky since he swallowed it. Big mark, 160 and 240, same area. I just got the this fish in the bag. This thing's freaking out. Big mark coming into the pile now. Shane just caught a a mahi mahi. So. The way I caught my last mahi mahi, I just had a rod sitting.
I got smoked. Stay, be there, be there. Smoked. Hooked up 2.30 that time. I suspect that it's another Kava Kava. Yeah, another Kava. Super cool looking fish though. Then the hook went around the line and it was like in Same here. Just got cut off. Wire rigs going on. There's the school of bait right below me. That like a 10 pound hookah. Cool. Something's on him. Come on, eat it. I don't think this is what I wanted. We'll find out. Man, that's heavy weight. Dang. Need yellowfin tuna or a wahoo. That's actually a little more like a yellowfin tuna. Maybe not. Looks like it's coming towards the surface.
I hooked up in 250. Turned back at me for a second there. It's probably another Kava Kava though. Saw something down there. Looks like yellowfin tuna on my wire rig. Yellowfin tuna. Check it out. Probably like 13, 15 pounds. Nice one. Such a beautiful fish. And of course, I hit my wire rig. Just picked up a, a little shibi on my wire rig. What was it? A uh, shibi, maybe 14, 15 pounds. Right on, bro. I was watching you fight it, dude. I was thinking, oh, hopefully it's a no no. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> Someday. <laughs> right on. Yeah, they come through. I mean, they shot through. They, they, they uh, cut both of us off around the same time, so they might have just been like shooting through. It's right about low tide right now. Okay. Adding a shibi to the pile of fish. The shibi at the bottom, so it's cooler. Kava kava is just gonna be jerky. <laughs> Throw another bait on, troll two. It's really slow right now, I think it's low tide. Uh, I just had a mark down at like 120, and I'm just gonna stay out deep and try and hook something. Again, I've got 200 feet of line out. I'm just free spooling, hoping that the guy, hoping that the guy swims towards the bottom. Can you make a big difference? Yeah. You know, right on. Can you stick it to the water and bilge it out? Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm sending out a lot of problems. I don't have to do any problems with that alive, but. I'm just gonna send out one of them. Like a light game. 
Billy, I'm hooked up behind you, so I might drift that way. This is just a dead bait. <laughs> but I attached the weight to it, dropped it right to the bottom, and came and nailed it. Like the weight hit the bottom, I reeled up some, and then it was there. I think it's some kind of GT. Um, Hook up on the bottom. Hey Rob, you said you're out there at 100 fathoms, right? I was, I'm kind of drifting over towards Shane right now. I'm only at 300 feet. Okay, I'm gonna go out there and check it out. I was on the uh, high side of 100 fathoms. Yeah, I hooked up on the bottom. I just dropped down a, a dead opilla with the weight on it. As soon as I hit the bottom, uh, it's, you know, it's like a 12 pound balua. Grabbed it. We're on the 100 pound ledge. Oh no, in like 130 feet, I came back in. Oh, right on. I'm about to, it's just hooked in the corner of the mouth. Hey, hooked in the corner of the mouth. Get all cut up. A nice little one. That's probably right about 10 pounds. Be good for a Pio tournament. All right. See you later, buddy. There he goes.